There is something to admire in the ability of our top axemen. The fleet of foot, agile men who wield their razor-sharp weapons. Wood chopping is a precise skill where you can't afford to make mistakes. The annual Trans-Tasman Clash is gaining real prestige with the Husqvarna Anzacs Wood Chopping Championship riveting competition. Eight axemen, five disciplines with one overall winner, beginning with the springboard. First up, Aussie Josh Adamson against Kiwi captain Shane Jordan. Stand your logs. One, two, three, and we go. All right, the chips are flying again. Now, Shane said four cuts, and you should be able to set your jiggerboard in. Shane's probably just, they go up together. He's an athletic man, this man from Queensland. As I said, oh, he's only taken a couple. He doesn't need as big a chip out as what Shane does, and he wants to get away early. Yeah, listen to the music. How about you drown those sounds out? Make some noise. Come on, man or two. Yeah, come on, you're good for it, man or two. You're going to be on TV, you're going to make some noise next weekend. We'll see you on Channel 3. Let's go. Yeah. Through the eye of the tiger. He's looking to go. Josh. Boy, oh boy. Shane's taking a big scuff. Josh turns first. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, Josh has got a bit of a stick going on there in the back. He's good. I told you he's good. Look at that. Keep your applause going for our Kiwi boy, though. Good stuff. How about them? First blood to the Aussies, so the pressure now on Kiwi Jack Jordan to pull one back in the stock saw. All right. Axman, hands on wood. Get set. All right. The team captain for New Zealand. Oh, McIntosh. McIntosh is off and burning, but it's an even Stephen. It's even Stephen. Shane Jordan, come on. Oh, he's good. He's good. Did he stay in there? Yes. He has experience. Bought at home. The Australians were on a roll with the standing block, and young Kiwi Jack Jordan was back against the very experienced Aussie Cody Steers. And the Kiwis had to make a move. Here we go. Oh, the top of the block came out for Jack. Look at the Aussie. Man alive, the power these two young men have. Yeah, what a one front side of their backhand. Look out. Here we go. Oh, Cody Steers. Jack Jordan. Two Mickey. Oh. In the individual Anzacs title race, the New Zealanders were fighting back, entering the single saw. Kiwi Nathan McDonald against Aussie David McIntosh. X-Men, stand to your blocks. One, two, three. Off we go. Now, Dave can get it done. Dave's a pretty handy sawer. The Australian might be able to turn the table, but the Kiwi, don't worry about Nathan. My name's Nathan and I'm a winner. Boy, oh boy. Aussies are having trouble with this uh, greener wood over here. How about Nathan? The final singles event is the underhand with our leading opponents, Cody and Jack, in a final battle. Andy logs. One, two, three. Yes, here we go, Jack Jordan. Cody stares. Cody's into the heartland. Oh, Cody's had a stick or two. Jack's the first to turn. Cody gets a good, strong finisher, though. The heart's burning. The lungs are heaving. The arms are swinging. Are the logs coming through? Yes. Kiwi captain Shane Jordan was gunning for his fifth singles title in a row, but victory was denied him by his little brother, Jack, taking his first title. So Shane settling for second, two points back to Aussie captain Cody Steers in third. Then it was the climax of the event, the team competition for the coveted Anzacs Trophy. Hands on wood, get set. Oh, there you go, and away we go. One cut down, one cut down, then we go to the underhand. Here's Jack Jordan, Jared would go hard, Jack. His specialty event, but the Aussie's not going to let it waste either. Jack Jordan, coat. Right, Jared, into it. Who's gonna win for this? Then watch out for the saw, the hand saw. 
It's away with Nathan first for the Kiwis with the hands off. Here comes Cody Steers. Come on, you guys, make some noise. Dig deep for the Kiwis. Dig deep for the Kiwis. Shane Jordan eating timber like a beaver. Ho! Oh. Joshua Adamson chasing him down. Shane Jordan, Josh Adamson, Kiwi. So the Kiwis deny the Aussies yet again. Keep your applause going for the Australian. Come on now. And the Anzacs trophy stays on the right side of the Tasman. Well, Jack, you've stolen the title off your brother, Shane. Yeah, yeah, no, it's great. Um, it's always good to get a win like this in front of a top top uh, field like this here. You've got the Anzac Championship again as a team, and that's five wins out of six years. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, I've been coming for three years, I think. But, um, yeah, every, every year I think they've won it since, yeah.